ரிப்பப்ளிகன்ஸே ஆதரிக்கும் ராஜாவை நானும் முழுமனதுடன் ஆதரித்து உதவி பெருமையும் மகிழ்வும் அடைவோம் ராஜா கிருஷ்ணமூர்த்தி கோயிங் டு பி த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் தமிழ் அமெரிக்கன் காங்கிரஸ்மேன் ஹீ இஸ் He is the president of Sivanandam Lab, started by Anilam Tamil, awarded by President Obama for his innovation. He did his studies in the two best universities in USA, Princeton, Harvard, studying engineering and law. He was the po policy director for uh, President Obama's Senate campaign in Illinois and has come up the ladder with his hard work and likability. Even the Republicans are supporting him and we support him wholeheartedly and welcome him with pride and pleasure. Vanakam, I am honored to be here. Thank you so much to uh, FETNA. Thank you, Dr. Ilan Govan, for uh, inviting me. Thank you to the board. Thank you to all of you for being here today on a uh, glorious day to celebrate Tamil culture and the Tamil people. So I thank you and give yourself a big round of applause. This is amazing. This is amazing. Everywhere I go in Illinois, I guess, get asked one question. And that is, what does Raja Krishnamurti mean? Where did you get that name and what the heck does it mean? So I say it's very simple. Translated from an ancient Indian language, it means Congressman for the 8th District of Illinois. Now you may be wondering, what is the 8th United States Congressional District of Illinois? That district comprises all the suburbs west of O'Hare International Airport. Now this area is very familiar to many of you because it, is, it has one of the highest concentrations of Indian Americans of any congressional district anywhere in the United States of America. It has so many Indian Americans that my son Vijay is on a basketball team of eight people, five of whom are Indian American, and both coaches are Indian American. And so someone came up to me the other day and said, Raja, that team must be very bad. And I said, no, you don't understand. Every other team in his league looks the same. So it's very evenly matched. <laughs> and so that is what life is like in the 8th United States Congressional District. I live in Schaumburg with my beautiful wife Priya, who is also uh, Tamil American. We have three children, 11-year-old Vijay, 7-year-old Vikram, and baby Sonia, who was born eight weeks ago. And so we now have three wonderful Tamil American children. Now, I should tell you that this particular congressional district is democratic. It's an open seat. It's a vacant seat. And thanks to many of the people in this room, I just won a heavily contested three-way democratic primary election, capturing 60% of the vote defeating my nearest opponent by 30 points, and there was record voter turnout, triple what anybody had expected. So thank you so much for your support. It was not only my win, it was all of our win. So thank you, and give yourself a round of applause. Now, uh, thank you very much for those lovely words, MP Gary. I'm going to call him MP Gary. MP Gary gave a very lovely speech. You should know, Gary, that in our United States Congress, there's only one Indian American today. His name is Dr. Ami Bera from California. Now, Ami told me the other day he's very lonely. And so I vowed that in 2016, we are going to increase the number of Indian Americans in the United States Congress in Washington, D.C. by 100%. And in the process, we are going to make history because we are going to elect the first Tamil American member of the United States Congress in the history of the United States of America. But I did not come here just to talk about politics. I came here also to talk about why I'm running for the United States Congress. 
And the reason why I'm running for the United States Congress is very simple. And one of the main reasons I'm running is you. One of the main reasons why I'm running for the United States Congress is you. You see, like my family, you came to this country with nothing in your pockets. Nothing but your culture, your traditions, your value, your education, and your work ethic. And you work tirelessly, day and night. Day and night to put food on the table, to put a roof over the heads for your families, to educate your beautiful children, and now you are a shining success in the greatest country the world has ever known, the United States of America. So I stand on your shoulders to reach for the stars, to be in the world's greatest deliberative body, the United States Congress. And so although my name is Raja Krishnamurti, it might as well be Raja Ilangawan. It might as well be Raja Shah, Raja Patel. The point is this. When I have a voice in the highest halls of power in Washington, D.C., you will have that voice. When I have a seat at the table, you will have that seat. In short, when I go to Congress, you will be going to Congress. And that is why this race matters in 2016. Now, let me be very candid with you. Let me be very candid with my friends in this auditorium. I am proud to be Indian American. I'm proud of my culture. I'm proud of my traditions. I'm proud of my values. And I'm proud of you. And I will always be proud of you. And I will never run away from you. My name is not Bobby Swindle. My name is Raja Krishnamurti. And I will be strong, loud, and proud of my name, my traditions, my values, where I come from, and the people who brought me here. You see, there are people in this country called evangelical Christians. I am an evangelical American. I preach the values of liberty, freedom, equality, hard work, and prosperity. And if you believe in those values, you are an American. It doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter how you pray, how you dress, whether you're Tamil American or any other type of American. And it certainly doesn't matter how many letters there are in your name. I have 18 of them, to be precise. The point is this, for the sake of you, for the sake of your children, for the sake of your beautiful grandchildren, they should be whoever they want to be in this country and do whatever they want to do. Some people preach that we should be building walls. I think we should be building bridges. Bridges of hope, bridges of opportunity, bridges of inclusion and bridges of prosperity. And so in this year, 2016, we have a pivotal moment and a pivotal choice. Do we go the way of divisiveness? Do we go the way of fracturing along communal lines? Or do we unify as a country? There's an old adage, in politics and government, you win by addition and multiplication, not subtraction and division. And in this country, we shine when we practice addition and multiplication, unification and coming together for a common purpose. So with that, I close with my favorite saying, which is that yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, but today's a gift. That's why we call it the present. And so I am so honored and blessed to be with you here today to celebrate the future of our community, to celebrate the future of our country, to celebrate Tamil Americans, and to celebrate how together we are going to the United States Congress. God bless you. God bless FETNA and God bless the United States of America. Thank you so much.